Hey everyone, Dr. Cliff here. Today we're going to talk about neutering dogs and more specifically some of the more ridiculous arguments and funny reasons I hear every day as to why people don't want to neuter their dogs. Okay, first off, for those dog owners out there who refuse to neuter your dogs, don't get too upset. Just watch this video for a laugh or maybe skip to the end where I actually talk about reasons why it's okay and recommended not to neuter your dog. But some of the reasons you guys give me against neutering your dogs are flawed at the least and comically hilarious at the most. And those reasons are what we're going to discuss today. Number one reason I hear at my clinic, you want your dog to be like a real man. What does that actually mean? Do you think your dog knows whether he has testicles or not? And do you think other dogs actually care? Surely you don't mean you want your dog to be big and strong and tough. Because if that's what you truly are looking for, then you kind of see in the future somehow your dog getting into a nasty violent fight with another dog. Or you're compensating for something. Now, if you're feeling a little insecure about your manliness, just do what other men afflicted by the same insecurities do. Hit the gym, get a few too many tattoos, wear t-shirts that are possibly a little too tight to show off those tattoos, maybe wear a few too many ridiculous bracelets, and grow a hipster beard and mustache. And please, don't put your dog in a purse or dress them up in Gucci sweaters. A dog who lives half of its life in your arms or in a purse is not a dog. It's an accessory. And keeping him intact so that he can be a manly dog and then dressing him up with clothes that you bought from the Gap makes him the laughing stock of other dogs. So regardless of if you neuter him or not, just let him live like a dog, not like a doll. Number two reason I hear most commonly at my clinic that I think is funny is that you want your dog to look natural. Natural. What exactly does that mean? A domesticated pure breed dog doesn't look natural. Unless you have like a husky type dog, or if you're watching this in Australia and you have like a dingo, none of these dogs look natural or are natural. We have selected the natural out of them. We have inbred them to the point that we have chosen every strangely desirable genetic defect. We keep selecting for the smallest dog to get us eventually a chihuahua, or we pick the closest thing to a horse over and over again to get us a Great Dane. Then there's dogs with long fur type hair that doesn't shed. Heck, there's even dogs without any fur. None of these dogs are natural. And look, while I'm talking about looks, don't get your dog's ears cropped. There is no point and it's an extremely barbaric surgery. If you get your dog's ears cropped without knowing what the procedure entails, then you're being ignorant. And if you proceed even after knowing what it involves, you're a big Richard. So back to the appearance of a dog's testicles. If you think they look attractive in some sort of way, that's pretty nuts. Just like it's seriously nuts to hang a brass pair from the back of your pickup truck. What is that all about? Think about it. You're hanging a metal replica of another animal's gonads on the back of your vehicle. No one thinks that's funny or charming. Now, if the look of a dog's scrotum being full rocks your boat, you can always consider implants. Yeah, they actually have testicle implants for dogs. They're called nudicles. They're glass balls that we are place inside a dog's scrotum after he's neutered to give him the appearance of not being neutered. I'm not encouraging this. I think it's scrotally unacceptable. In this case, just don't neuter your dog and maybe go talk to a therapist. All right, number three reason. You want your dog to be more athletic. Now this argument actually does have some validity. The testicles produce testosterone, which builds muscle and helps maintain lean body tissue. So I'm gonna give you this one. But then you have to agree to really exercise your dog. Like really exercise it. Take it to fly ball set up an obstacle course. Depending upon the size and breed, take it for a regular run. If maxing your dog's athletic potential is one of the reasons you want to keep him intact, then plan an exercise program for him, make him listen to Joe Rogan, and bro, chase those gains. But let's be honest, your dog can still be an extreme athlete without his testicles. 
Look at Lance Armstrong. Of course, he kind of had a little bit of outside help though. All right, number four reason. You would like to breed him. Okay, why? Because he's so cute, you just have to have one more just like him? How about you just adopt a rescue dog? Did you know that the number one reason in North America animals are euthanized is due to overpopulation? If you still want to breed him, you have to wait a few years first. You have to have his joints radiographed so that you know he doesn't have genetic conditions like hip or elbow dysplasia. You got to make sure his behavior is spot on perfect and basically that his inside and outside health is perfect. It's awesome. Or better yet, just leave the breeding to the registered breeders. Being a responsible dog breeder is a ton of work. Now, if you're looking to breed him and then get half the litter and sell them, you're basically a pimp. Your dog isn't a money maker. That's not why you got him. It's a member of your family. Every decision you make should be based on what is best for him and not what's best for your bank account. So those are the most common and in my opinion, sort of the more ridiculous reasons people present to me as arguments for not neutering their dog. But there are good reasons to keep him intact and he is your dog after all. So frankly, the choice is yours. The balls are in your court, so to speak. There are some health benefits to neutering but did you know that there are also some health disadvantages? The testosterone the testicles produce do help fight off certain diseases. It is easier to keep dogs lean if they're naturally juicing with their own steroids. Studies are starting to show that neutered male dogs have higher incidences of torn knee ligaments as they age. Now why is that? Maybe the neutered dogs are more likely to be obese or the testosterone helps keep those ligaments strong Healing is definitely faster in dogs that are intact. So it's likely a factor of all those things. We're not really quite sure just yet. But testosterone is a wonderful thing for male health. That's why many middle-aged men use TRT. And ladies, we're not doing it just so that we can look and feel younger. It's good for our health, okay? So now look. The behavior of the dog is definitely better when they're neutered. But I have met countless of super well-behaved intact dogs. Just be ready to work a little harder against their toxic masculine hormone induced stubbornness. It'll be just like having a teenage man child in the house, but one that doesn't constantly ask to borrow the car keys and one that is truly appreciative when you provide it love and care, a home to live in, food to eat. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Okay, if you don't neuter your dog, he may hump the leg of the occasional stranger. So teach him not to. Yes, he may want to run away occasionally and find himself a girlfriend for the night. So keep him on a leash when you go outside and make sure your backyard is well fenced off. But if you find any new lumps on the skin, don't assume it's just a fatty lump. It may be a tumor associated with the testosterone that his testicles are producing. But with quick action, your vet can likely cure him of that tumor. So just basically be a good dog parent. And that's all that really matters. Be a good dog parent. Talk to your vet honestly and openly about if you should neuter your dog or not and when you should do it. Get all the facts and do what is best for your pet's long-term health. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future episodes. And most importantly, always be kind to animals.